It's now 11 years since a Spaniard last won the Pachichi Trophy, the award for finishing a La Liga season as the competition's top scorer. The Cristiano Ronaldo Lionel Messi duopoly has harvested eight of those, with Uruguayans Diego Forlan and Luis Suarez collecting the other two. You have to go back to 2008 to find the last native winner, Mallorca's Danny Guitha. Guitha was an archetypal flawed genius, a hugely talented forward blighted by a frequently substandard attitude and a fondness for nightlife. Born in Jerez in 1980, he found initial success with his hometown club in the Spanish third division, at a level where his extracurricular activities were neither quite as visible nor as prohibitive. However, by 1999, he'd shown enough potential to tempt La Liga side Mallorca into signing him. It was a curious decision. Guitha had a reputation for missing training and indulging in as much off-the-field hedonism as the night would allow, so the chances of him fulfilling his potential on a non-stop party island at a club that actively encouraged players to enjoy themselves off the pitch seemed remote. He spent his first season split between a lone spell at Dos Urbanas, back in Jerez, and the Mallorca B team. 19 goals across 37 appearances for the two sides convinced incoming Mallorca manager Luis Arayanes of his abilities, and he was promoted to the first team. Arayanes' predecessor, Fernando Vazquez, had handed a 19-year-old Guitha his debut at the back end of the 1999-2000 season, and while it was predicted that Arayanes, a notorious disciplinarian, was the perfect candidate to curb Guitha's excesses, his impact was minimal returning just a single La Liga goal in the 2000-2001 season and slipping back into B-team football at the season's end. Again, he lit up the third tier with 28 goals in two seasons, but the growing sense was of an illusory talent, which had possibly found its proper level. Mallorca sanctioned another loan in 2002 to Recreativa de Huelva with the intention of exposing Guitha to the top flight, but without the distractions of island life. But four scoreless appearances later, he was back and was released on a free transfer. An unlikely lifeline was thrown by Barcelona's B team. Guitha was ultimately unsuccessful, scoring at only a modest one in every three rate during his only season with the club, but the move began a chain reaction of events that ultimately resurrected his career. After missing out on promotion to the Segunda Division, Guitha's late season goals for Barcelona B caught the eye of Ciudad de Murcia, who were promoted that year from Segunda B and they brought him down to the coast to fortify their side for life in the Segunda Division. Given Guitha's early promise, it was a signing which attracted plenty of fanfare. He was still a known commodity in Spain and represented unrealized potential. Nevertheless, he again cut a distracted figure, something which the club bizarrely managed to spin into a positive. Manager Juan Malillo had almost weekly anecdotes about Guitha's off-field antics, despite Murcia appearing to be the ideal antidote to the 24-7 Mallorca. The carrot over stick approach worked well, with Guitha happy to languish in the comfort zone of being an eccentric provincial star, scoring 36 goals in two seasons. Mercia ultimately did not achieve their promotion, but Guitha did, being signed by Getafe in 2005 under the management of Bernd Schuster. It was a risk. Angel Torres, the club's president, claimed that Guitha was, Ronaldo aside, the best finisher in the division, but the player's personal life was a natural caveat and so it proved. Prior to the move, he suffered a complicated divorce from the mother of his eldest child, a scandal which captured national media interest. Socially, the 25-year-old was clearly struggling in the south of Madrid, and those issues manifested in one bizarre episode after another, culminating in the club imposing a liquid food diet on the forward after he contracted a stomach infection from suspected alcohol poisoning. The sound bites attached to him at the time cast him as a jovial figure, he once famously told a journalist that the nighttime confused him, but his career was very clearly in danger and Guitha needed help. It arrived in the form of his partner, Nuria Bermudez, who took hold of his life as both his companion and his agent. In response, Guitha showed the most consistent form of his top flight career, firing Getafe into the UEFA Cup in 2007 with 17 goals in all competitions. Bermudez negotiated a deal to return him to Mallorca that summer, and briefly, the stars aligned for the first time in his career. Manager Gregorio Mazzano stated his aim to construct the team around Guitha's strengths, and the player responded, working incessantly for Mazzano, scoring goals and elevating Mallorca back to the heights they enjoyed during his first spell. He ended the campaign with 27 La Liga goals, 
despite not being the side's penalty taker, and picked up the Pichichi ahead of Sergio Aguero, Raul and David Villa, despite Mallorca only finishing seventh. It was a run of form which earned him a place in Spain's Euro 2008 squad, alongside David Villa and Fernando Torres. He would score a late winner against Greece in the group stages and provide one of Spain's three against Russia in the semi-final, also coming on for the final 12 minutes against Germany as Spain won a narrow final 1-0 in Vienna. He would only be capped another nine times. Theoretically in his prime, his form at the European Championships and throughout the season prior attracted plenty of interest, including from Premier League side Tottenham Hotspur. He would ultimately move to the newly wealthy Superliga in Turkey though, joining Fenerbahce in the summer of 2008 where he would be successful, maintaining a healthy strike rate over the next three years, winning the Turkish Cup in 2009 and the Superliga title in 2011, his final season before returning to Spain with Getafe. Guitha would never repeat the heights of his performance in 2007-2008. In fact, he would never again score more than 11 league goals in a season. Nevertheless, his achievement endures. He remains the only Mallorca player in Spanish footballing history to have won the Pachichi Trophy and one of just three Spaniards to have done so since the turn of the century.